I'm sick of the lies. The lies. The lies the mainstream sports media tells you Braun fanboys to make you believe LeBron James is the GOAT. He not the GOAT, dog. He not the GOAT. All right? That's the facts, dog. That's the facts. And you already know the deal, dog. The real NBA fans, oh, yeah, we already know the deal. We already know LeBron is not the GOAT, dog. We know that. Shoot. But here come the Braun fanboys yet again, dog. Here come the Braun fanboys. They, they, they're just so salty. You know what I'm saying? So mad, so irate, so butthurt, dog. Butthurt that, that, that Michael is the GOAT, dog. They, 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 it just hurts them, dog. They don't even know how to deal with it. They're going out of their mind. They're, they're, they're pulling the hair out, dog. They're getting all stressed. Their palms are getting sweaty. Knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on their sweater already, dog. It's mom spaghetti. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> dog. These people out here, dog, they, they, they know that LeBron is not on Michael Jordan's level. The Braun fanboys, oh yeah, they know. Deep down, they know. Inside, oh yeah, inside, they know the truth, dog. You see what I'm saying? They know the truth. And, and they know the truth because we keep exposing the truth. You see what I'm saying? We keep exposing LeBron. Oh yeah, we keep exposing all of his failures, all of his losses. You see what I'm saying? We expose them. We expose the losses and the failures. But 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 the Braun fanboys, they get so mad about that because they know LeBron does not have a case. He does not have a case to be the GOAT. You see what I'm saying? And they know he, he doesn't have a case. So they, they go, oh, mm, oh, they're mentioning the losses. Oh, oh, mm, mm. Because they know when we mention LeBron's losses, LeBron has zero case whatsoever to be a GOAT for basketball or any sport, you know, for that matter, dog. But so they get so mad, so salty, so butthurt. So they got to point the finger. They got to point the finger at us, dog. Yep. And they got to say, yo, you, you never talk about Michael's losses. You act like Michael Jordan never lost. <laughs> yo, the... Oh man, dog. They got to they got to you act like Michael never lost. Everyone loses. That's always their excuse for everything, dog. Always an excuse. LeBron's a flopper. Everyone flops. It's not it, dog. LeBron's a big loser. Everyone loses. You see what I'm saying? LeBron has six uh, losses in the finals. Everyone, uh, uh, wait, uh, people lose, people have lost in the finals. Everyone loses in, well, huh. Uh, you act like Michael Jordan never lost. He lost too. Maybe not in the finals, but, but he lost. You never talk about it. That's glaze. You're glazing him. You're glazing, Michael. You act like he never lost. He did lose. Hey, how many seasons did he play? <laughs> uh, uh, 15. <laughs> he played 15 seasons. How many championships does he have? <laughs> uh, six. <laughs> so, so that means, if, if my math is correct, uh, 15 minus six equals nine. So he has nine seasons. <laughs> nine seasons that he did not win. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you like that? How do you like that? Yeah, Michael has nine seasons. Nine full seasons where he didn't lose. <laughs> I got you, I got you, I got you. Yeah, eat it. Eat Eat it, eat it, take that, take that, take that. Yeah, yeah, LeBron's the goat. He's the goat, he's the goat, he's the goat. He gotta be, he gotta be, cause, 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 cause Michael, <laughs> Michael, he lost two. Michael lost two, dog. 
Michael lost two. So therefore, LeBron's a goat. What? What kind of sense does that even make, dog? That makes zero sense whatsoever, dog. But they, they, they say we never talk about Michael losing. You see what I'm saying? And so they think we're not being fair. We're not being fair. It's not fair. You see what I'm saying? They be getting all giddy. Wait a second. <laughs> Michael lost two. <laughs> dog. Oh, man. They think we're not being fair, dog. They think we're not being fair by talking about LeBron losing. Just, just focus on the wins. Just focus on when he won. You see what I'm saying? Uh, just focus on the number of finals he went to. Don't, don't focus on the uh, finals he won. Uh, ju just focus on the number he went to. You see what I'm saying? We don't, we don't want to pay attention to losses whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? Act like he didn't lose. Act like it. And that's the only way you give LeBron some sort of false case. You see what I'm saying? Just act like he, he never lost, dog. Act like it. And, and so they know that, dog. So they try to put the same thing on us, the same insecurity on us, dog. That's what they try to do. Uh, hey, you just act like Michael never lost. No, no, no. Y'all act like LeBron never lost, dog. We don't act like Michael never lost, dog. You see what I'm saying? The reason we don't talk about Michael Jordan's losses, dog, is because Michael is the GOAT, dog. You see what I'm saying? LeBron is trying to measure up to Michael. You see what I'm saying? Michael already solidified at the top, dog. He already solidified. He's the standard already. You see what I'm saying? LeBron is trying to measure up to the standard. You see what I'm saying? He's trying to measure up. He not there. You see what I'm saying? He's trying to measure up. So we look at LeBron's losses and we say, nah, dog. Look, nah, nah, that ain't, nah. Nah, look, look, look how much this dude lost. Nah, nah, dog. He ain't even, he ain't even nowhere near no Michael Jordan, dog. Look how much this dude lost. And y'all, y'all want to come up and, and be like, what a, oh, what a, what a, Michael lost too. It's like, th that's not the point, dog. LeBron did not lose, or Michael did not lose as much as LeBron. And remember, Michael is the standard. He's the GOAT. He's up at the top. You see what I'm saying? We don't talk about Michael Jordan's losses because he already the GOAT. You see what I'm saying? LeBron, we talk about his losses because y'all be trying to say he's the GOAT. You see what I'm saying? And when we look at Michael up at the top, we look at the winning. Yeah, we look at we we look at the winning. We also look at the losing. Michael, nah, Michael, he he lost seven times, you know, in the playoffs. He was eliminated from the playoffs seven times. LeBron was eliminated from the playoffs thirteen times. Mm -mm. Nah, that ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work, dog. No, no, no. LeBron, LeBron had nine losing seasons. Uh, or no, uh, Michael Jordan had nine losing seasons. LeBron had 17 losing seasons. No, that ain't going to work, dog. That ain't going to work. That ain't going to work. Michael Jordan, he blew one series lead. LeBron blew five series leads. No, that ain't, that ain't going to work, dog. That ain't going to work. You see what I'm saying? We already know about the finals. Michael Jordan lost zero finals. LeBron lost six. No, that ain't going to work, dog. It ain't going to work. You see what I'm saying? It ain't going to work. Michael's already the standard, dog. You see what I'm saying? That's why we don't talk about his losses. He's at the top. He's the GOAT. Why we got to talk about his losses for? It's already been established that he's the greatest of all time, dog. You see what I'm saying? We aren't comparing him to anyone, dog. He's at the top of the pedestal, dog. You see what I'm saying? We're not comparing him to nobody. He at the top. You see what I'm saying? So the only the only ones the only ones we compare him to, you know, we we you got to measure up to Michael. Michael don't got to measure down to you. You see what I'm saying? Michael up there at the top, he the goat, dog. That's how that works, dog. Michael don't got to got to measure down. You see what I'm saying? Well, y'all don't talk about Michael's loss because he's the goat. What we got to talk about his losses for, dog? He already established himself. He already solidified his position, dog. You see what I'm saying? Y'all 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 don't understand, dog. Y'all don't understand. Y'all y'all trying to bring LeBron to Michael's level, dog. LeBron ain't on Michael's level. Nobody is, dog. That's the facts. 
You see what I'm saying? The only ones who could possibly have a GOAT case are people who lost less, dog. People who lost less. And there's really only one player, dog, one in NBA history who lost less. You know what I'm saying? That we could give a GOAT case to, dog. And that's Bill Russell, dog. Bill Russell. That's it. That's it. You see what I'm saying? So we can look, we can look at the losses, yeah. Bill Russell, he only lost uh, twice, you know, in two seasons. He only has two losing seasons. Michael has nine. Okay, okay. You see what I'm saying? So we look at the losing and we, oh, hey, hey, you know, but nobody ever said Bill Russell was the GOAT, dog. You know, now I, I, I'm not saying he doesn't have a GOAT case. I'm not saying that. But nobody has said Bill Russell is the greatest of all time. Nobody ever said that, dog. You see what I'm saying? Nobody even thought about the GOAT, really, until Michael Jordan came around, dog. When Michael Jordan came around, people said, this is the greatest player I've ever seen. You see what I'm saying? Nobody said that with Bill Russell. Nobody said, Bill Russell is the greatest player. I've Nobody said that, dog. Nobody said that. You see what I'm saying? The, the reason this whole thing started, dog, was because of Michael Jordan, dog. Michael Jordan came out, did what he did, and people went, Yo, this this is the greatest player I've ever seen. You see what I'm saying? And, and that was just from a visual standpoint, right? The eye test. He he definitely passed the eye test, right? But then we started going on further throughout his career and we started seeing all the accomplishments. You see what I'm saying? And then he ended up accomplishing more than any other player that came before him in terms of accolades, dog. Bill Russell doesn't have as many accolades as Michael Jordan, dog. You see what I'm saying? Michael Jordan was playing it both ways. You see what I'm saying? We're talking offense and defense. He was the greatest player anyone had ever seen, offensively and defensively. See, Bill, Bill Russell, he was a defensive specialist, dog. Defensive. Not, not offensive. Defensive, dog. You see what I'm saying? Michael Jordan was the greatest overall complete player from offense to defense that anyone had ever seen. You see what I'm saying? That's that's where the where the conversation started happening, dog. That's when that's that's the standard he set, dog. He did it on offense and defense, dog. Now, now, let me tell you something interesting about Bill Russell, dog. Let me tell you something interesting about Bill Russell, dog. Cuz I was wondering, dog. I was really wondering, dog. How does Bill Russell have 11 rings, dog? You see what I'm saying? I, I, I went back, and we all know, dog, he only played two rounds of playoffs to get his first eight championships, dog. You see what I'm saying? His first eight championships was two rounds of playoffs. It, it was conference final, final, conference final, final for, for eight, eight, his first eight championships, dog. Conference final, final. Then his last three championships, dog, uh, he played three rounds of playoffs, dog. Michael Jordan is the only player in NBA history, dog. The only player in NBA history, dog. If, if we're talking about all-time greats, we're talking about top 10 players all-time. He's the only player who's won six championships by going through four rounds of playoffs each. You see what I'm saying? No, nobody else has done that, dog. Kareem ain't done that. You see what I'm saying? Bill, Bill Russell ain't done that, dog. He ain't even won one championship that way, dog. You see what I'm saying? It's different. It's a different game, dog. You see what I'm saying? We already know how the eras go, dog. We know how the eras go. It's a, it's a different game. You see what I'm saying? Michael was playing in a different game. You see what I'm saying? A harder game. It was more difficult, dog. And, and Bill Russell, when he came into the league, dog, when Bill Russell came into the league, you see, he was the second round pick, dog. Or not second round, sec, second overall pick in the first round, dog. That's Bill Russell, dog. Second overall pick in the first round, dog. Yep. And uh, he goes to the Celtics. And uh, the Celtics, they already had three all-stars on their team, dog. For the, for the past three years prior 
to Bill Russell even joining the team. They already were a three all-star team with a former MVP and Bob Cousy, dog. You see what I'm saying? How did this guy, who was, who was picked second overall, you see what I'm saying? Get on a team like that. You see what I'm saying? And if, if you look back in the history and do some research, dog, you see how he ended up on that team. You see what I'm saying? The Celtics, they didn't really have the pick, dog. They didn't have the second round pick. They didn't have the number two pick, dog. But the coach really wanted him. He wanted him for his defensive prowess. And he was like, you know what? I really like this guy. I think this guy is really the guy. If we add him, we'll be a championship team. We're going to be really, he's the last, he's the final piece to the puzzle. The puzzle we already have created here, dog. He's just the final piece to fit in to our puzzle here, dog. He was never looking at Bill Russell like, Bill Russell is the greatest player I ever seen. I need him. He was like, no, no, no. He, Bill Russell is a great addition. He would be the perfect addition to what we already have set up. You see what I'm saying? So the owner, well, the, the coach, Red Auerbach, he was like, I, I need that guy. And he told the owner he would be perfect. I'm telling you, for our organization, if we get that player and we fit him, insert him into what we have going on here, oh, we're going to win, dog. You see what I'm saying? We already got it set up. We just need him. And if we just add him to it, dog, we'll be good. We already have a phenomenal team. We already got three all-stars on this team, dog. But if we get Bill Russell, oh, man, he'll add that defense. He'll add that defense we need, dog. That's what he'll do. You see what I'm saying? He's going to help us. That interior defense that we, we, we surely need, dog. That's what we need, dog. And he can give us that. You see what I'm saying? I, I, we're not getting him because of what he can do offensively. Uh-uh. Nope. No, we, 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 we're not focused on offense, dog. We focused on his defense, what he can give us on the inside, dog. You see what I'm saying? Interior defense. That's what we want from him, dog. And he's the perfect piece to fit into our puzzle, dog. So then the owner really goes out of his way. You see, whoever had the first overall pick, uh can't remember the team right now but they had the number one pick but they couldn't pick bill russell dog because they couldn't afford to give him what he was asking for it was different back then dog the team could not afford to draft him as number one you see what i'm saying he was going to be the number one pick but the he the owner talked to the owner of the other team he's like hey can you afford to pick him up if you draft him they're like nah money's tight he's like okay okay so i know they can't pick him at number one. So he had to go to the next team in line. And he said, hey, he had to convince him. Hey, hey, hey. If you pick that guy, okay, can you trade him to our team? And we'll, I'll give you these guys over here. I'll give you some of these guys. And at first they're like, ah, and they're like, come on, dog. You, you, you know, you know, Bill Russell, he can't really score. He's not really a scorer. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he's a top pick, but you know, he can't score like that. You know, he can't score like that. Come on, come on. Just send him my way. You see what I'm saying? They made a little deal. And he, he sent some players to them. You see what I'm saying? In return for Bill Russell, dog. And that's how Bill Russell ended up being perfectly inserted into an already winning environment. You see what I'm saying? Even though they hadn't won a championship yet, they were already built up. They were already a built up team. And he got inserted into that team, dog. You see what I'm saying? And then they went on and won a championship the very first year they were assembled, dog. You see what I'm saying? Bill Russell was already put into that kind of situation. We already know with Michael Jordan, he was not put into that kind of situation, dog. You see what I'm saying? He was sent out to no man's land, dog. Michael Jordan was sent to the organization that was dead, you know, that had little to no success, dog. You see what I'm saying? That's where he was sent. You see what I'm saying? When he was picked and he was drafted to Chicago, Chicago, <laughs> dog, nobody wanted to go to no Chicago, dog. You see what I'm saying? It was a team of losers, dog. It was a losing organization. 
You see what I'm saying? So we already know the situation Bill Russell was put into immediately when he came into the league, dog. Ain't the same as with Michael. So we can compare Bill Russell and Michael Jordan, and we can look at the situations they were in. You see what I'm saying? But but Bill Russell is the only one we can compare to Michael when it comes to uh, losing. You see what I'm saying? But then we, when we really start focusing in and looking at all the help they had and all that kind of stuff and how what kind of position they were put in when they came into the league, we already know Michael Jordan didn't need much to start becoming a real uh, championship contender. Bill Russell, he, he, he needed a lot. You see what I'm saying? He needed a lot initially. So with an objective mind, we can easily determine, dog, if we really look at all the facts, we really look at everything that was set up, dog. We can easily determine, dog, that uh, Michael Jordan had it tougher. You see what I'm saying? And we can't reward somebody else for not going through the same thing, dog. We, we just can't do that. It's not fair, dog. You know what I'm saying? It's not fair to reward someone who did not do the same thing or anything close to what what the other person did, dog. That that's that's just the facts, dog. You see what I'm saying? Fairness across the board is what we're trying to establish here, dog. You see what I'm saying? The way I look at Bill Russell, dog. Bill Russell he's like a beta tester, dog, for a game that isn't fully developed yet. You see what I'm saying? He's a beta tester, and, and, he, and he plays the game, and, and he does well. He does well at playing the game. He beats the game many times. He beats the game 11 times, dog. You see what I'm saying? The game isn't fully developed, though. And so after he beats the game 11 times, they go and they ask him, hey, so how would you like our game? What, what do you think? And, and he's like, ah, I mean, it's good. I like it. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun, you know. But it's just not as challenging. Like I think you got to make the, the levels. You got to add some more levels to it. It doesn't have as many levels. Uh, the bosses, I think you got to, you know, make the bosses a little more hard. You see what I'm saying? I think you just got to make it a little more. It's got to be harder to win uh, the game because I found it not so, so difficult to actually win the game. So, you know, these are some of the things I would like you know, you to add to this game to make it a little more enjoyable, you know, for, for gamers everywhere to play. You see what I'm saying? And they're like, okay. So they start taking notes. They start listening to all his suggestions. And oh, okay, Bill. All right. Okay, we're going to add this. We're going to add that. We're going to add more levels. We're going to make it a little more difficult. You know, we're going to add more enemies into the game. You know, we're going to do all this kind of just, just to up the challenge a little bit. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We got we to gotta up the challenge. It's already understood, dog. It's already understood. With the NBA ABA merger of 1976, dog, the the entrance into the modern era, dog. You see what I'm saying? We're adding more competition. We're adding more talented players. You see what I'm saying? We're opening up the doors for more. You see what I'm saying? So we can really get this game get this game going, dog. You see what I'm saying? So I look at Bill Russell, he's like a beta tester. You see what I'm saying? And yes, you know, he was very successful when he was beta testing that underdeveloped game. Yes, he was. And we respect it. We salute it. You see what I'm saying? We're not going to tear it down. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to tear it down. We're going to respect it. We're going to salute it. This dude's going to get his jersey retired. You know, this dude is, is going to be, he's going to be entered into the hall. And all his rings, they're going to be legitimate, dog. We're, nobody's going to take those away. Nobody's going to say, oh, those rings don't count. Nobody's going to say that. They're all going to say, Bill Russell, he's the greatest winner in NBA. That's what they're all going to say, dog. You see what I'm saying? Nobody's going to tear it down. Nobody's going to try to take away what he did. You see what I'm saying? But we all understand, dog, it was a different game, dog. You see what I'm saying? We already understand it's not as comparable as today's NBA. Anyway, let's look at LeBron, dog. 
You see what I'm saying? All these Braun fanboys, they just don't seem to understand why LeBron really has no case, dog. He has no case whatsoever to measure up to Michael Jordan in any way, dog. Like, what what case does he have, dog? What case? You want to talk about some stats. Dog, the stats aren't the purpose of the game, all right? The, the purpose of the game is to win, dog. And he is not good at doing that, dog. He is not good at doing that. So he can't be the GOAT, dog. If you have a losing record at the highest level of competition, that just means you were a punching bag, basically. You know what I'm saying? You went up there, got beat up. You see what I'm saying? You you were just the guy, the, the, little, the little practice dummy uh, for the championship teams to win their rings, dog. They, they're going to win their rings, and you're their practice dummy. You go up there, you're like a punching bag. They pop, 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 and then, you know, they get their ring, dog. <laughs> That's basically what it is, dog. That's that's what he is, dog. You see what I'm saying? We can't say you're the goat of the sport because you kept taking punches. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, he's been in more fights than everybody. Okay, but he's still a punching bag. He's still getting beat up most of the time. Well, he did win that one time, and that one opponent was really strong. That one opponent was really strong. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, you know, it's just... He beat that one guy. If if he beat that one really strong opponent, why didn't he beat all the other opponents then? He he, he beat the, the one strong guy, but then he couldn't beat anybody else who was weaker? Uh, what? It, it doesn't really make sense. It kind of just makes us question his heart and question, you know, his ability. Because if, if he could beat the strongest guy, but not some of the weaker guys, I, it doesn't make sense. Why, can we, why should we call him the GOAT for that? You see what I'm saying? We can talk about stats all you want, dog. But the stats aren't leading to winning. So the stats don't matter. That, <laughs> that's how it works, dog. You see what I'm saying? If you put up 100 points in a game and you lose the game, your 100 points did not matter, dog. They did not matter. You can record it and you can say, Oh, they got 100. And you can enter it into history, dog. But if you lost the game, it really does not matter that you scored 100 points, dog. You see what I'm saying? Because your points had no purpose, dog. They didn't serve a purpose. You see what I'm saying? The purpose of the game is to win. And your points did not serve that purpose, dog. You see what I'm saying? And if you're scoring that much and you still lose, there, there should have been a better way. There should have been a better way, dog. Uh, maybe you need to utilize your teammates more. Why do you need to score triple digits? You know, it's, it's just stuff like that, dog. Stuff that LeBron does not understand. He does not understand how to actually win the game, dog. You see what I'm saying? And actually utilize his teammates and, and make them all work together towards the same goal. You know, he doesn't know how to do that. He knows how to be the center of everything. You see what I'm saying? And everybody play through him, play off of him. That's all he knows, dog. All he knows. That's the only system he wants to play in, dog. The only one he knows how to play in. That's all he knows, dog. You see what I'm saying? And you think, oh, well, he should. I mean, why do you think that's supposed to be winning basketball? It's at the highest level? No. Unless you have some really high-level teammates with you is the only possible way you can make an inferior system actually work towards being a championship because you have superior teammates. It's that simple, dog. But they always want to talk, dog. These Braun fanboys, they always want to say, you act like, you act like Michael never lost. Michael made up for his failures, dog. You see what I'm saying? That's the problem that these Braun fanboys don't understand. Michael made up for his failures, dog. Whatever failure he has, he's done something else way more amazing that makes the failure not even matter, dog. You see what I'm saying? They want to say, Michael, he got swept twice in the first round, dog. Swept twice in the first round. 3-0. 3-0. You see what I'm saying? Back-to-back 3-0s. Hmm. How does that sound familiar? Oh, yeah, Michael Jordan, back-to-back 3-0 championships, dog. 
So, I mean, you want to talk about he lost six games twice, okay, but then he won uh, six championships. Or, yeah, he, he lost three games twice, three games in a row twice. And then he won three championships in a row twice. So it's like, what, I mean, what, there's, there, there, it's not comparable, dog. It's not comparable. Yeah, he swept twice, 3-0. But then he won six championships, 3-0, 3-0. I, I think he made up for it, dog. I think I think he made up for it. You see what I'm saying? You want to talk about he was – you see what I'm saying? It's like they want to look at the tiny little failure, but what did he achieve, dog? And does what he achieved – does what he achieved supersede the failure, dog? You see what I'm saying? And it completely does, 100% totally, dog, you know? How likely is it to get swept in the first round? It's, it's, it's likely. You see what I'm saying? It's likely. How likely is it to have two three-peats? Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Uh, yo. It's not likely because it's never happened. Only, only one player. Only, Michael's the only one who's been, been able to do that, dog. Come on. Come on now. It's like whatever failure you want to name, dog, uh, Michael made up for it, dog. You see what I'm saying? First time he got swept, dog, it was to a 67 and 15 team. Okay. Then guess what? He became a 67 and 15 team in the 92 season, and he swept the team he faced in the first round. You know, just like the Celtics did to him, he, he, he spread the love, dog. He shared the wealth. You see what I'm saying? Like, you can, you can say, oh, it happened to him, but then he did it to other people. Guess what? Every championship he ever won, dog, on every championship run, he swept every team in the first round. Every first round team he ever faced on a championship run, he swept in the first round. He was swept twice in the first round. But then he handed out six L's to everyone else in the first round. You see what I'm saying? He, he was swept twice, but how many, how many teams did he sweep in the first round? You see what I'm saying? Like, I think he made up for it, dog. I think he made up for it. It does, it's, it's ridiculous, dog. It's ridiculous. I, I, they want to point out, you know, stuff that he already, he already superseded. His success superseded the failure, dog. You see what I'm saying? He's had far more success than failure, dog. You see what I'm saying? And even when he failed, guess what he did? He came back and turned up and did something so amazing that we can't even, like, he proved that the failure was, you know, not really because of him, dog. You see what I'm saying? He proved, he went out there and proved who he actually was, dog. You know, you could say, oh, he was a loser. Swept twice back to back in the first round. You know what I'm saying? Well, then he does three peats, dog. You know, back to back. <laughs> like, come on, dog. We don't, like, don't make no sense, dog. Whatever failure you want to name, dog, Michael Jordan has made up for it, dog, with his play, with his success, with his achievements, dog. You see what I'm saying? Michael Jordan has 10 scoring titles. You know what I'm saying? Six of them led to championships, dog. Like, I don't know, dog. I, I, I just don't I, don't, I don't, I don't understand what, what the Braun fanboys are trying to say here, dog. It, it makes zero sense. You see what I'm saying? Michael, whatever his losses, you know, he made up for with his wins, dog, because he won in such an astonishing way that you go, no, okay, well, he really was a winner the whole time, dog. He was a winner the whole time. Any little excuse we could try to give, dog, any little hypothetical scenario that we could try to give, well, he only got swept because this. Well, he only got, he only got beat because this. You see what I'm saying? And then anytime he had all the stuff, that we said, well, it was only because of this that that happened. Whenever he had all that to his advantage, 
he won like he was supposed to win. You see what I'm saying? So it's like you can you can paint this picture, dog. You can say, oh well, uh, he was he, he, he you act like he never lost, dog. But if we look at the realistic reasons why he lost, when those realistic reasons were no longer in play, he won. So then you can't say, you know, like you can't say this dude was a big time loser because when he had all the stuff, he won every time. You see what I'm saying? Every single time. You know, this is a guy who never lost in a championship situation, dog, throughout his entire basketball career, dog. Basketball, not NBA, ba just basketball, dog. You see what I'm saying? College. Never, he didn't lose a championship game in college. He didn't lose a championship game in the Olympics. Gold, he got gold everywhere internationally, dog. And then, and, and then uh, in, the, in the NBA, dog, anytime he was in a championship situation, dog, where it's, it's all the marbles, dog, he always won. He's never, like, he's 11 and 0 in any kind of championship situation, dog. That's, that's just Michael, dog. You see what I'm saying? So whatever y'all want to say, you know, like, oh, he's a loser, he's a loser. Uh, the championships and the records in the championships do not display that, dog. They, the evidence does not support that theory, dog. You see what I'm saying? He was undefeated in any kind of championship, uh, championship situation throughout his entire basketball career, dog. Never lost in a championship situation, dog. You see what I'm saying? Never. We can't say that about LeBron, dog. We can't say that. We're, we're talking about a bronze medal, dude. You know, bronze medals, you know, six finals losses. You see what I'm saying? Like, this, it's not the same. I, you, 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 got, you got to stop. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing at this point, dog. Just, just stop. You see what I'm saying? Y'all keep trying to say, oh, you act like Michael never lost. You don't. It's not the same. It is not even close to anywhere near comparable, dog. And it, just do the research on it. Look it up. See what happened. See why realistically he lost. Okay? And then see why he won. And then also see why unrealistically he also won in certain instances. You see what I'm saying? He wasn't always the number one seed. He didn't always have the best record going against another team. You see what I'm saying? Not always. The 93 Suns, dog. Come on now. 98 Jazz. They have the same record. It's just, it's just, it's wild, dog. It's wild that they would even come to this. They want to talk losing when we already got a guy who's the GOAT. He's up here. That means he passed. You see what I'm saying? He passed the bar. You know, everything, all the requirements that we're looking for in a GOAT, he passed. That's why he's there. You see what I'm saying? And you're over here with this dude down here. And you're like, why isn't he up there? Why isn't he up there? What, what, why, what do you mean? He didn't, he didn't meet all the requirements. He didn't pass the bar, dog. He didn't do that. You're like, well, no, 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 because Michael lost. And so did LeBron. That's something they have in common. So why isn't he up there? You're like, come on, dog. Come on, man. They both lost. Who lost more? They both won. Who won more? Like, just cut the crap, dog. It's sad. It's sad. It's trash, dog. It's pathetic. They, they really want to make any kind of argument, dog. So, so, like, they try to compare them. You see what I'm saying? When they're not comparable. That's, that's the, the crazy part, dog. All so they can make people think, dog, that LeBron is the GOAT. He not the GOAT, dog. He not the GOAT.